We'll be making black bean and nut butter protein bites. These are a fun, no-bake snack that are great for after school, before school, during school, high in protein, and because they're no-bake, they're a great way to get our kids involved. For these protein bites, we will need black beans, the nut butter of your choice. Here, I'm using peanut butter because it is my favorite. Corn syrup, however, this can also be substituted for honey, agave, or maple syrup. Vanilla extract, kosher salt, chocolate chips, oatmeal, and crisp rice cereal to give it a little extra texture and crunch. With this recipe, we will start by opening and rinsing and draining one can of black beans. We always wanna make sure we rinse and drain those beans, just to make sure we don't have any of that strange metallic taste that occasionally will stick to the beans in the can. While those drain into my food processor, we're gonna blitz up our oats and our chocolate. We'll give this a second to break up the chocolate and try and get everybody one happy part. To that, we'll add our rinsed and drained black beans. And buzz this, scraping occasionally to make sure it's all one homogenous mixture. The wet beans have a tendency to stick to the edges of the, the mixer itself. Once we see that most of the beans are broken up, we can go ahead and add our peanut butter and syrup. We're gonna give this one last blitz. To this, we'll add our peanut butter, but I'm gonna go ahead and top off the, major the rest of the liquid I need, which is another quarter cup. as well as our teaspoon of vanilla. And one big fat pinch of salt. Salt is one of those things that kind of belongs in everything, even sweets. It enhances everything around it. I forgot to do it this time, but generally when I am measuring out anything that's this sticky, honey, peanut butter, whatnot, I like to spray the inside of my measuring cup with some nonstick spray and it actually helps keep it from sticking to that and land in my pot. Clearly I forgot to do it this time. We're gonna blitz this again until it starts to roll upon itself in one homogenous mixture. It may take a few scrapes in between. You'll know it's there when the mixture itself starts to roll upon itself within the mixture while the blade is moving. We're not quite there yet. One last blitz and we'll be ready to fold in our Rice Krispies. Once we've got our mixture turned out into a bowl, we'll fold in our Rice Krispies. I like to do this about a half a cup at a time just to make sure I don't crunch them too much and they retain their texture. It gets a little funky sometimes and you almost have to strong arm them into the mixture, but they will get there.
once we get all that dried cereal incorporated into our chocolate bean and butter mixture, all we have left to do is scoop and chill. And this is a great time to get our kids involved. I like to scoop these all first and roll them once they're all scooped, just so my hands don't get gross the entire time. like that's most of it, and then we'll roll these into little balls and chill them down. Ideally an hour or so. If you really are in a rush to eat these, you can stick them in the freezer for about 20 minutes, but just to get everybody tightened up and the cereal to absorb any residual liquid to make them all one cohesive bite. These are best stored in Tupperware or bags in your refrigerator. They can be frozen, but it's such an easy recipe, I kind of feel like it's not worth freezing. They're easier to just make and eat as you'd like them. They're great for after school, before school, soccer practice, barring any nut allergies. So we'll pop these in the refrigerator, let them chill down for a good hour or so, and then it's time to eat. So here we have our black bean and peanut butter protein bowl. They've been chilling in the refrigerator for about an hour. These would be great with a glass of milk or any old thing that you'd like to wash them down with. And now it's time to dig in. Big thanks to Family Wellness for hosting us today. And thank you to the North Harvest Bean Growers Association for inviting me here to show you some really fun things with beans. If you enjoyed these recipes, please check out beaninstitute.com or find us on YouTube.